Good day, mate. And welcome back to another iteration of Halo Shitpost by yours truly, everyone's favorite Halo YouTuber, Rehab. Back again with your weekly dose of Halo content. And we have a special video for you today. Because we may have very well just gotten our first Halo Infinite gameplay leak. Being the unobservant sack of potatoes that I am, I completely missed this. I actually didn't hear about this until I checked out Halo Follower's video on it. I'll link it in the description. But this leak was part of the video that dropped on the Halo YouTube channel run by 343, titled We Are 343 Industries. It was sort of a hype video for the studio for all that they're doing and working on with Halo. But around the 5 minute 30 second mark, there's a scene with some gameplay playing in the background. Gameplay that doesn't look like it's any Halo game we've seen before. You can't get much out of this small clip, but it looks like they're playing a version of Halo 5's Breakout, although the HUD has moved around from where it would be in Halo 5. The map looks like it could be a Forge map or just a map still in development that's missing the final textures. Everything kind of seems like a placeholder for now. The shield bar, the aiming reticle, hinting that it could be Halo Infinite still in development. But the biggest thing would be that this gameplay can be matched to the layout of an alleged screenshot leak that came out back in December. And that's what I really want to talk about today. So there are two things in the screenshot that really get my attention here. On the left, we can see that this player has a grappling hook. And on the right, it looks like the player has the option to take out a knife. The way I look at it, with the grapple hook being next to the grenades on the left side, it kind of makes me feel like it's a map pickup or maybe an armor ability that you choose off spawn similar to Halo Reach. And then the knife being on the right is maybe something that everyone has but that's just complete speculation on my part. But regardless, I want to just talk about what this could mean for Halo Infinite. Because frankly, my first reaction is just, ugh, ugh, ugh. The initial thought of grinding the ranked arena playlist with players grappling around like a bunch of cracked out pathfinders makes me feel like this game isn't gonna be for me. I love Apex, but a grappling hook seems like it's taking the advanced movement in Halo 5 and pushing it too far. I've said plenty of times that I'm a classic Halo fan, and that I prefer no sprint in Halo. But honestly, sprint isn't a deal breaker for me. I liked Halo 5 with sprint, I would just prefer it without it. But that's because it changes Halo fundamentally in my opinion. Instead of the game being centered around holding power positions, it's more about abusing movement mechanics better than the other team. That is very much a skill in itself, but I just prefer the classic style. And a grappling hook is not the direction that I prefer Halo to be moving in. And I think a lot of players would agree. But until 343 puts out confirmed gameplay, this is all still speculation. There are a million different ways this could go. This could just be a one-off version of the game they were testing, but already moved past. Maybe they planted this here on purpose for people to see in order to gauge how the community would react. Well, that's a negative for me, fam. Count it on your stat sheet. And maybe that's why we haven't seen gameplay from Halo Infinite yet. They know that half the community would freak out with grappling hooks being in the game, and they really just don't want that smoke yet. But I really do still want to stay optimistic and open-minded. The fact is that arguing about classic versus advanced movement in the Halo community is like people arguing about politics. People don't really care about the actual issue at hand, they just want to be right. They want to win. People that hate Sprint will shit all over Infinite for having Sprint. People who love Sprint will shit all over the game for not having Sprint. That's just how it is. And honestly, I'm going to play this game and give it an honest try no matter what's in it. I just hope this isn't an indicator of where the game is headed. Because who knows where it'll end. If this game has wall running, I might need a new hobby. So while this definitely invokes negative thoughts in my mind, 
I am still open to trying it, and I am still excited for Halo Infinite. After all, I usually stick to the HCS playlist, and maybe if grappling hooks are in the game, they'll be left in the casual playlist. Although looking at Halo 5, that probably won't be the case. But hey, let a man dream. And I'm really curious how a knife would work in Halo. I assume it can't be like the energy sword, because then what would be the point of the energy sword? Maybe it's a speed boost? Hmm. Maybe it could work like in Counter-Strike. Add the knife for a speed boost in place of sprint? Okay, that's just a ridiculous assumption. Anything is possible, but I would be baffled if 343 doesn't include Sprint in Halo Infinite. It's been in every game they've made so far. I really don't think it's going anywhere. You know what would quash all this mindless speculation? Some gameplay. Game. Play. This game comes out this year. Is there a chance that it's even getting released on time? For some perspective, we played the Halo 5 beta 10 months before it came out. We have less than that before Infinite releases, and we've seen absolutely nothing besides these two alleged leaks. I guess we'll just have to wait for E3 in June for some information.